for takeoff. Good evening. Welcome in to Indians Minor League Magazine along with former Tribe left-hander Jason Stanford. I'm Al Pulowski. Thanks for joining us. And boy, the Indians look good, the Major League team, Jay, but so do these minor league teams too. Yeah, from top to bottom, these guys are doing what they're expected to do. They're performing, they're improving every week. And as a minor league player, if you can improve and perform like you're supposed to, you're going to move up in the ranks. A lot to talk about here today on the show. Let's T tell you what's coming up first. We'll take you around the minors, talk about all the Tribe Farm teams. Then, Indians Director of Player Development, Ross Atkins is here. Ross always has some great insight. Later, you'll hear from last year's eighth round pick, catcher Alex Levisky from St. Ed's. We'll also check in with our Diamond in the Rough and have our new weekly segment, the Minor League Player of the Week. And we'll start off by heading down I-71. Go to Columbus and check in with the Clippers where they've been doing phenomenal to begin the season. And Cord Phelps has been right in the middle of this opening surge. Over the last nine games now, he's hitting 324 with three homers and 10 runs batted in after he began the season on a torrid pace. He's just another one of the great infield prospects now that the Indians have in their system. Yeah, they do. They have a, a numerous amount of infield talent, and it's fun to watch these guys. If you get a chance, go down to Columbus and watch these guys play because they are. They're big league talent right now. They're ready to play. There's just no room for them up here. Yeah, that, which is a great problem to have, <laughs> but the depth is there. It's a triple-A, and it's at the lower levels as well. Here's a look at some of the Clippers to keep an eye on. Luke Carlin also doing a nice job. Of course, he was in spring training with the Tribe. And how about uh, Jared Head? Look at those numbers. Pretty good. Jared Head is a very good talent. He's a, a high prospect, you know. But Luke Carlin, a free agent, minor league free agent signee. You look at these guys, they bring in good veteran guys to help out with the younger talent. And the Indians have always done a very nice job of intermixing those guys. And he's a, a prime example of that. All right, let's head over to Akron now in the Eastern League. It's normally known as a pitcher's league, but uh, we've got a hitter to highlight for you this week. Matt McBride, who just continues to pound double-A pitching. Over his last 10 games, he's hitting 300 with three homers and five runs batted in. He had a successful stint in Columbus last season after starting the year in Akron. He's back at Canal Park this season, but hitting the ball extremely well. Yeah, and this happens a lot. When, when you go through and you play at the double-A level one year, you might have to go back there only because the triple-A level is so talented and so deep. But McBride has done a very nice job. He reminds me a lot of Ryan Mulhern, a guy that I played with back in the day. Can play the middle, can play the corner and infield positions, but he's got a very good glove, very nice stick too. A couple of the guys to keep an eye on. A reliever um, putting his name up there, Matt Langwell. Watch for him now as he's done well this year. And Jared Gettert, he's begun his rehab assignment in Double A Akron. Just good to see Gettert back on the field. Yeah, and this is exciting. Gettert, you know, Gettert, very nice talent. Was at the AAA level, had a very good season last year. Hopefully he can stay healthy and get back up there quickly. All right, to the Class A level we go. We'll start at High A with the Kinston Indians. And when you look at this team, they've got a new promotion here in Francisco Jimenez, and he continues to impress after getting the promotion from Lake County. 21 and two-thirds innings, mostly with the captains now. The lefty has an ERA overall this year combined, 2.08. 17 strikeouts, only four walks. Another special lefty. You know, this kid is a younger Rafael Perez. I mean, he's got a very good fastball, very good breaking ball. He needs to learn how to control the running game just a little bit because he is left-handed. But if he can do that, he's going to continue to move up fast, too. All right, let's take a look at some guys to watch for. Brett Brock doing a nice job as well. Again, uh, uh, the ERA, outstanding. And Abner Abreu, remember him from Lake County? He's at Kinston now, and not too bad. He's definitely got the speed that, that you'll love to see. Yeah, and these guys will all learn how to hit, you know, at the levels as they move up. But you can't teach speed, you can't teach talent, and that's what he has. You know, Abreu, very nice talent, and the Indians like all these guys. I mean, they're all moving them up little by little because they are performing at the levels that they need to. All right, we'll stay at Class A and go to low level A with Lake County and the captains. And one of the guys off to a great start is a local product from Strongsville and Kent State, Anthony Gallus. The Strongsville high grad now hitting 356 for the year for Lake County. He's got four homers. 13 runs batted in, 24 runs scored. His OPS is over one. It's a 1.009. I don't think he's going to be in Lake County very long. No, this is very impressive. And he's a non-drafted free agent. And you don't see these guys that often. You know, I was a non-drafted free agent, had, had the luxury of getting to the big leagues. This is another hometown guy. The Indians are very excited to see this guy. You know, they signed him to pretty much nothing. And now he's performing at a high level. Very good athlete. Well, and Kent State, we'll talk about this a little bit with Ross Adkins, but Kent State does a nice job turning out some professional level players. Carlos Moncrief, a guy to keep an eye on, has got some power there. And how about Tyler Cannon? 
He's already out of Lake County. Now he was the draft pick last year uh, in the 10th round. Now he's moved up to Kinston. Yeah, Tyler Cannon, a very good middle infielder. You know, you look at this kid, very good hands, you know, from the defense standpoint, very good hands though from an offensive standpoint. He's got very fast hands, swinging the bat, understands the strike zone very nicely. But you look at Carlos Moncrief, I got to see him a lot last year when he was in Mahoney Valley. A very good player. He's got a strong arm. He can throw almost as hard as Sinsu Chu. Yeah, boy, this is, I'll tell you what, there's a lot to be excited about in this entire Indians organization right now. The Major League Club is doing it, but we're telling you, some of these kids in the minors, really nice looking prospects. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have our diamond in the rough for you. We'll also have our minor league player of the week. And coming up next, it's Ross Atkins. We love talking to Ross. He's got some great insight for you. Don't go anywhere.